Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brianna and today we're going to be talking about why I chose to attend Harvard. I'm going to start by saying that Harvard was never my dream school. It just kind of happened. The summer between my 11th grade year and my senior year of high school, I attended this program called the Dartmouth Bound Program. And I had never heard of Dartmouth College before then either. It's another Ivy League school in New Hampshire. And I decided to attend that program because I'm like, it's free. Like, why would I pass up that chance? It's also going to give me the opportunity to learn more about the college application process. So I attended that program. And afterwards, I was convinced that I was going to go to Dartmouth because I love the program. I love the professors that we were able to talk to. And the campus was also really beautiful. And with the comment app, the good thing about it is that you can send it to multiple schools. And I was like, if I'm already applying to Dartmouth and I already spent a lot of time perfecting this application and this essay, I might as well go ahead and send it to Harvard too because why not? Okay, the first reason. It was the most affordable option for me and my family. So when you first look at Harvard and you look online and you see the cost of tuition and the yearly fees, you'll think there's no way I can afford this. Because when you see a big price tag, it, it can scare you away. But a good thing about Harvard is that they offer need-based scholarships. So if your family makes under a certain amount of money, they will not ask you to contribute any money. And I think right now, if your family makes under $65,000 a year, you won't have to pay anything. That made Harvard way more affordable than many of the other schools I applied to. Even though my family did have to pay some money out of pocket, it was definitely offset by some of the local scholarships that I applied for. So it did not put a huge dent in our pockets at all. The second reason was location. Harvard is located in Cambridge, Massachusetts, which is right outside of Boston. And I had never really been to Boston, but one thing I knew when I was applying to college was that I didn't want to stay too close to home. I'm from Forest City, Arkansas, and I love my city, but there's so much more to explore in the world. So I knew I wanted to use college as an opportunity to see other places. And when looking at pictures of Boston, I was like, this is so pretty. And seeing all the opportunities that are out there to explore and attend other sporting events like Boston Celtics games, stuff like that really excited me. And I was also just really curious to see what it was like living up north and being able to see a lot of snow, even though my freshman year I saw probably way more snow than I wanted to. But getting the chance to explore a new city while studying from one of the greatest colleges in the world was such a blessing for me. I was never planning on being that far away from home, but now that I look back on it, I don't have any regrets about choosing to go to school in Boston. And around Boston, there's a lot of places to eat, a lot of different places to shop, and there's beaches that you can go to as well, which I didn't even think about initially. So there's just a lot of opportunities to leave the campus, even though most times you probably bogged down with schoolwork and you don't really leave as much as you think you would. The third reason was because I was looking at the degree offerings that Harvard provided. And I, I knew going into college that I wanted to study psychology and I didn't want to take a lot of math classes because I hate math. I'm not good at it. It takes me a while. So I wanted to do something where I knew I didn't have to do a lot of math. And the good thing about Harvard is that you have so much flexibility in choosing the courses that you want to take. So throughout my whole college career, I took one math class and it was a stat class, which wasn't really heavy on the numbers. And I was I was blessed because, Lord, I knew I would have been struggling in a math class. Harvard has general education requirements and you have to take one class from, four, I think it's four different categories. And within those categories, you have a lot of flexibility. You can choose basically any class that you want. And that's the type of flexibility that I was looking for in a school because I know me and I know how I work, I know how I study, and I know my strengths and weaknesses. So that was definitely a benefit for me. If you're planning on attending a school like Harvard, I recommend looking into the degree offerings just to make sure they have the degree that you're looking for, or at least they have the ability to create something that you would be satisfied in studying for four years. And I also took a look at the organizations and clubs that Harvard had to offer. And I knew I wanted to go to a school where there was a religious community because I'm a Christian and I wanted to take my faith to school with me because that's a huge part of who I am. And I want to connect with other people who also believe the same things that I believe so we can go with each other. Because college is hard and you need other like-minded people around you. And the fourth reason I chose Harvard, the name. Because when I first got into Harvard, I was not totally convinced that I wanted to go there. 
but I was at work one day talking to my manager and I was telling him the schools that I was considering. And then I mentioned Harvard, his face was like, Harvard, like you're going to Harvard. I was like, okay, I guess I'm going there. And Harvard, like there's so much name recognition that comes with that. And if you're thinking about your future and your career opportunities, once people see on your resume that you went to Harvard, they're gonna automatically assume something about you. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. But for the most part, being out of school for a few years, it has blessed me in more situations than I probably can count. Where I'm from in Arkansas, not a lot of people know that Harvard is a reality for students like us. And I want to show people that there are other opportunities out there. You don't have to stay in state or go somewhere that's close by, or you don't have to feel intimidated when applying to Ivy League schools, because if I can get in, I know that you can get in too. And I want to show people that. I want to show them a different option. and. Being able to go to a school like Harvard, it definitely blessed me. It allowed me to meet some incredible people. It allowed, it allowed me to experience things that I wouldn't have experienced if I would have stayed local. And I just learned so much about people in the world beyond Arkansas. There are lessons that I learned at Harvard that I'll forever take with me. And I'll never forget my four years there. And I wish I could go back, but... I don't know, unless I'm trying to do some extra school. <laughs> and the last reason I chose to attend Harvard was because after talking to a few alums, I'd heard nothing but great things about Harvard. Of course, it's not a perfect school, but I believe it was the perfect school for me. And the connections you make at Harvard are gonna be connections that you have for a long time. And, and being in that type of environment, it was definitely motivating because you saw so many people out there just literally following their dreams and doing what they, wanted to do and I, I love that type of freedom and it definitely motivates you to work harder and do the best that you can because you literally have one life to live you're not going to be young forever and your education is something that's going to always be with you and that's something that nobody can take away from you and being at a place like Harvard really helped me realize that and I'll never forget that and if I can go back and do it all over again I wouldn't change a thing because I made the choice that was best for me and it all worked out it worked out well and i pray the same for you because if you're watching this video i'm sure you're probably thinking about applying to harvard and i know that application process can be very scary but if it's meant to happen for you it's gonna happen for you regardless well that's the end of my video if you all enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or comments or if there's anything else that you want to know about my journey to college or my experience at Harvard, please feel free to comment down below or connect with me on Instagram, Twitter, and my email is also in the description box as well. So feel free to reach out to me. I love taking questions and I love to help in any way that I can. So please use me as a resource if, if needed. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.